Hello everyone, Dom here and today as you can see we're outside because today I'm going to talk about backpacks. I'm going to talk about backpacks suitable for music producers if you want to carry your precious gear around like laptops, audio interfaces, MIDI controllers, cables and so on and so forth. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now the first backpack I want to talk about today is the Mono Creators Flyby Ultra. I used to have the original Flyby and the the backpacks from Mono Creators have been the first brand of backpacks that I started using when I started traveling a lot, when I was doing clinics, when I was playing around the world. I've taken these backpacks everywhere with me, to the US, to Australia, to Southeast Asia when I had a tour there. So I can attest to their ruggedness and your gear is going to be protected in these backpacks. I want to say straight away, this is not going to be a review for any one of the backpacks that I'm going to show you, but I'm going to show you what I like about each backpack so that you can decide which one is going to be the right backpack for you. And maybe I'm going to tell you what I don't like about each backpack. For Mono Creators, I also used to have the condenser, I used to have the 360 and the original flyby. This is the new Ultra flyby and this has some really nice additions that I appreciate. The first thing that I like about this backpack is that you can have a MIDI keyboard inside. It's tall enough and it's deep enough so that you can have a nice MIDI keyboard in there. Now let me show you very quickly. First of all you have these buckles here that are magnetic and you can open them. These allow you to make the backpack a little bit more condensed. Here's what we have. When you open this up you will see that there's a lot of space, right? and I love these orange accents. So let me show you what I have here. First of all, I have a nice mesh pocket with cables and right here there's also some SD card slots. There are two pockets right here. Right here I have a USB-C hub for my MacBook Pro. I have my cables here in a nice pouch and I like this. I have every cable that I would ever need when I go and do shows or when I do workshops or when I do clinics. So I have uh, balance cables, I have unbalanced, I have TRS, uh, I have uh, Y cables, I have HDMI cables and they're all here in this pouch. So if I want to switch to another backpack I can just grab this and I'm good to go. Then I have an audio interface. This is the Steinberg UR22 C and the reason why I get this is it's really rugged. It can go up to 192 kilohertz but I don't have to baby this interface when I take it with me because it can take a beating. If I had another interface, I would always worry about breaking it. This is really durable. As you can see right here, this is a really nice touch. So if you want to have cables and you want to have them organized, the Flyby Ultra has this hook right here so you can just get your cables and just do it like that and immediately you have your cables organized. Let me show you what I have here. Here I have my MIDI keyboard, right? So it's in this kind of wrap thing. This most of the times is used for lenses, but I found that this works great for MIDI keyboards like this. So what I do is, I mean, of course I can just drop it in here, but I always like to have a little bit of extra protection because this MIDI keyboard goes into many bags that don't have this padding that the flyby has right here. So I just go like this and I'm good to go. Now another reason why you might want to use this hook right here is for headphones. You know, you go like this and then you have your headphones right there. Now one of the biggest features of this backpack is the laptop compartment. Now as you can see here, as you will see, Right here I have my 16 inch MacBook Pro, but here's the great thing what you can do. When you unzip this, check what happens and check what you can do. You can actually remove this laptop compartment and it becomes a separate bag like this. So let's say you arrived to your hotel room and you want to have a meeting with an artist, you have to go somewhere and just carry your laptop and your essentials. You just remove this, you leave this at the hotel room and then you take this and you have your laptop with you. It also has a nice pocket here for a tablet and there's another pocket here for smaller items like phone, wallets and so on and so forth. Now the other thing that was added in the Flyby Ultra is this luggage pass-through. Now for me this is really really important because 
Sometimes the bags can get really heavy. It's never a good idea to put strain on your back. So for me, this thing, I can just slide it into my roller case or I have some wheels that I use for video gear. I can just slide it in here and immediately this bag becomes a roller bag. A few more things that I want to mention about this bag, all the zippers are really chunky. I don't know if they're YKK, but they feel really chunky and quality. They're weather sealed and all the pockets are really nicely designed. So right here I have my business cards and if you check here you have another big pocket that also has dimension here. So let me show you just a very quick example. If I grab my audio interface from the main compartment I can just just as easily put it right here and it fits just fine and you have many more pockets here another big plus is that it has these side pockets right here but the great thing is the access to these pockets is from the back so if you have your phone here or your wallet a thief wouldn't have access to them from the back if you're on a train or if you're at the airport so this is very clever this cushioning right here feels amazing um, the only thing that I would really like this bag to have is when you remove the laptop compartment here, I would like to have an extra bag so that I can still use this bag, I can still carry it without the laptop bag. Does that make sense? I would like to have like a fake bag so that I could use it as two bags, if that makes sense. Maybe this is something that I'm going to let mono creators about. But yeah, this bag, I've used it and I've used it since the original and you can't go wrong with it. Now the next bag is actually a travel bag and this is the Peak Design travel backpack it's a uh, 40 liter if i'm not mistaken it's a massive bag actually this i bucked this up on kickstarter so i was one of the early adopters and the great thing with this backpack is that you can really customize it exactly how you want the main reason why i got this is because i was traveling and i wanted to get video gear this is primarily a video gear slash traveling backpack but let me show you why i love it for music production stuff as well. First of all, like I said, it's great if you want to have a hybrid setup. So you want to carry your camera, but also want to carry some clothes and at the same time have your music production gear with you. This is the main way that it opens, right? So you open it like this. And as you can see right here, you can have different inserts. So like I said, because I bucked it up on Kickstarter, I have all the inserts. So I have a small, insert and I also have a medium and this is the large one so if I open this you will see that this is a big big compartment and then they give you all these different dividers so you can completely customize it exactly how you want so as you can see here I have this kind of configuration so sometimes I have my cables here I have my audio interface and you can completely customize this this is the strength of this bag I love pick design stuff I have many of their bags and I've done videos about the everyday backpack as well in the past as you can see right here you have extra space for more stuff and of course you have your laptop compartment right here so you can have your laptop and you also have an iPad sleeve and the reason why I like this backpack is because I can have my cameras in there I can have lenses I can have audio interfaces I can have laptops and this has tons of space the other great thing is that if you want to carry some clothes it has another compartment right here so you can have some clothes here and if you want to expand it you can just use these zippers here and this gives it extra dimension so you can store loads of clothes right here so if you're going for a one or two day trip i think this is great and way more pockets here and the other nice thing that it has is it has some nice chunky water bottle holders now my only complaint which is not really a complaint about this bag is that it can get really really heavy the mono bag the size is just about right so that it doesn't get so heavy that it will break your back this can get really heavy if you load it up so you have to be conscious about this fact and speaking of heavy whoa. Here's the third backpack I want to talk about today. I have a very strange relationship with this backpack, but I wanted to show this to you because I think it's a very interesting one. 
This is the Daddario backpack. This is supposed to be for gigging musicians. This is very cleverly uh, set up and laid out. And let me show you what I mean. First of all, if you go here, tons of pockets, right? So you have this pocket here, as you can see, you have like a place for business cards, uh, pens and so on and so forth. You know, some more space here. Then you have a pocket behind this. And this I really like, because as you can see here, you can have space for your microphones, your microphone stands. I like this. As you can see, I have a dynamic, I have a condenser microphone that I take with me sometimes. I have a microphone tripod right here. And it has enough dimension so that you can close it and there's no problem. You're gonna have no problem closing this, even if you have like a bigger condenser microphone there. Now here's what I got this bag for. If you open this, you will see that you have space Ta -da! for all your cables and you can separate them. I separate them. You have dividers here, so I separate them according to type. So I have, you know, XLR cables, I have uh, TRS cables, I have TRS to XLR cables and so on and so forth, power cables and you can separate them and they're very neatly organized. I'm not sure about the zipper quality about this bag. They look just a tiny bit more flimsy, but they haven't broken up to this point, so all good. You have more pockets here with some elastic, but compared to the mono bag, they are opening from the front. So don't put your wallet or phone in there. I don't think they will be very safe, especially because the bag is so big and you know, you might not be aware if somebody opens a pocket. Now in the top, again, very, very interesting because you open it up. So I have some adapters here and as you can see, there's this level, but when you open it, Ta-da! Even more cables. So as you can see here, I have uh, some BNC cables, my digital cables like ADAT and stuff. I have more power cables, some MIDI cables right here. And if you want to hide these, you just Velcro this and you have a nice compartment right here so you don't see all the cable mess or you don't lose anything inside all these cables. Traps are really nice. To be honest with you, this must have the best traps out of all of them. Uh, but they're all really comfortable and as you would expect you have a laptop compartment i'm not sure if i like this laptop compartment so much this doesn't feel so well padded for the laptop compartment especially if you have a more fragile laptop it feels like see there's a little bit of curve here so i would be afraid that it might bend or something but again that's just me being a little bit too picky. And you also have these straps here that allow you to carry tripods with you. Here's my problem with this bag, and that's why I said I uh, have a special relationship with it. This bag gets incredibly heavy. Unless you work out and you will take care of your back, I would say that you have to be careful with this bag because if you load it and you load it full, then it gets extremely heavy. Be careful, take care of your back. Why I love this bag, this bag has ended up being the best storage bag for cables in my studio. So instead of having my cables in boxes or trying to figure out where every cable is, I have all the cables right here or inside and I can immediately go and pick up like an XLR cable if I have a singer or if we want to record multiple microphones. And if I want to go somewhere for a gig, if I go to a studio and I want to bring my own cables, I just take this with me, I just chuck it in the car, put it in a van, and I have all my cables organized so I don't have to search for them. Just for this reason, I love this bag. So if I had to sum it up, I would say that the Mono Flyby Ultra is the best all-rounder for a music producer. If you have MIDI keyboards, if you have audio interfaces, cables, headphones, and you want to carry your laptop with you wherever you go without having to carry all your gear around, this is the best backpack for this. The Peak design is huge. It's great for all-round traveling with video gear, audio gear, and clothes. This bag is going to last you a lifetime. And actually, I think that both Peak design and mono creators have lifetime warranty. If you're a gigging musician, you're a one man or woman band and you want to carry loads of cables, microphones, guitar gear and stuff like that, then the Daddario bag is going to be for you. Now I know this is going to come up and I want to address this. None of these bags are cheap. 
right? I think the cheapest one is probably the Daddario one. But I'm going to say something. If you're going to carry your precious gear inside these backpacks, then trust me, you don't want to go ahead and place your gear that you rely on for your music, for your job, in a cheap backpack. And the reason why I don't have a budget backpack right here is because I've used them in the past. I've been there. I bought several backpacks that were budget backpacks. You know what happened? They all broke and I was in the airport or I was traveling and I didn't know what to do. Especially if you have cameras, you know, or expensive headphones. So there you go, my friends. These are my three top backpacks when it comes to carrying your precious music production gear in the comments down below let me know which one is your favorite from the ones that i showed you here today and if you're using a different backpack let us know in the comments down below because i'm a backpack geek so i'm always interested in checking out new backpacks from different companies so maybe when you tell me about it i'm gonna make another video about this thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this maybe you want to check this video out or that video out check out my modern 80s drum kit my apollo expansion for pad shop and i'll see you on the next one my friends from sunny london dom signing off bye bye